Ich so gelesen. So sollte man einfach auch sagen. Aber ich habe mich eigentlich genau auf ganz sicher zurück. So, and also another thing is, all you guys are all power users. So, kind of remember that kind of you know how phones work, you know how websites work, you know kind of UX better than everybody else. And your audience probably doesn't. Your audience could be the like six year old man who's already. So again, start with the problem, uh, find out what the problem is, then tell a story from that problem and lead users on a journey. And this is what we do all the time. So even on my uh, registration, which uh, I was doing a piece on earlier this week, um, and that's kind of like, so the idea is to get people through the registration quite nice and simply, but also kind of tell them along the way, let them have breathers, don't give them loads of information, and kind of guide them through and help them through that kind of process. Don't just kind of this is this is what you want to do. This is it. This is boring. You want a nice little story. You want pictures in there. Remember when you were a kid, you had picture books and all that. They're nice, aren't they? You want to give uh, your users that experience. So I've got some UX real-world examples. Uh, so this is this is one of my favourites. Um, so again, it's kind of bad, bad UX. Uh, so kind of this reminds me of Ghostbusters. Don't cross the streets. So. <laughs> So I don't know whoever uses this, uh, either they're very desperate or um, they've got some sort of medical issue. <laughs> so, uh, um, so this is this is one that really bugs me, hotel bedrooms. Um, I, I probably suffer from something called nomophobia, which is, if anyone knows, it's a fear of not having your mobile phone with you, so it's kind of always there. At home I've got like 300 plugs behind my bed, so I can plug in all my devices, my iPad, my iPhone, my other iPhone. Uh, all lined up, so if, kind of, if somebody decides to phone me at 4 o'clock in the morning, which I hope they don't, I, I'm ready for it. So my phone's charged, ready for the morning, check my emails first thing, check the money into bed. But at hotels, for some reason, in hotels, there's very rarely a plug near the bed. So that means I've got to plug it in over the other side. And then 4 o'clock in the morning, I wake up, and there's no clock in the room, I think, where am I? Is my alarm not gone off? Ah, oh, it's a nightmare. So hotel rooms, they know. I'm just going on a rant about bad UX. So. Um, I'm a big fan of coffee, but probably not this mug. Uh, it's a nice little sort of design, but uh, unless you like drinking coffee out of a straw, probably not a great uh, user experience. Um, again, kind of like, you know, form over functionality. There's, there's all these options, there's, there's blend, there's different types of blend, there's another blend, there's a blend, uh, there's a little sort of blend option there. Or you can have the other one, which is just for him. Um, this is this is back to my coffee again. This is a nice coffee mug if you like wearing asbestos gloves. Uh, so, um, I think this is for like people who like taking a risk when they pour a cup of coffee. Um, so this is this is quite interesting. So this is something uh, which is a comparison between style over kind of usability. So I kind of I like the look of the glass bottle. Looks nice. It feels nice. I don't want to use the squeezy one because I can actually get some muscles out, pour it on, don't have to hit the back of it. So I kind of again think about kind of like sometimes things look nice, but they may not work that nice. So this is this is quite a nice one. Um, 
So back to the fee the forms, like 80% of smartphone users don't fill in more than seven entry fields. This was, I, I used to put six, uh, but now I put seven in, because we're getting bigger screens. Uh, and again, people are doing things in a better way, so I can say about seven entry fields should be okay, and then people will drop out of So this is a problem we had. People just navigate to the next uh, entry, so walk them down. What we used to before, you have to tap off and then go tap back on. It's a bit of a funky system. And we, we did find that affected them. Um, about 30% of people then dropped out of the registration because we didn't have that, those two buttons on there. So it's quite an important feature. And again, just asking around people how it felt. And again, we tweaked it again. So we did have four versions before we've actually in release two, we changed it. So what we like to do.
do that every day. So we do get in the morning, solve the problem, and then two days later we have the products to show for three days. That's how complicated it is. But usually we keep it tight, keep it in that cut-off point of three days, um, and then you can kind of develop on it. So that's good. I, I had a, when I was at university, I had a lecturer who used to be a hairdresser, and he said to me, um, UX is like cutting a hair. Sometimes you just have to stop or she'll end up with somebody with no hair. So again, kind of just stop doing it, just take a step back and then come back. So this is kind of, um, this is uh, a couple of weekends ago, we were at Facebook down in London and we entered a hackathon now. So this is the, uh, this is my team uh, with the way. Uh, we made, uh, in that time we made two apps So again, we um, kind of bore you with hackathon stories. Uh, we, we entered another hackathon there. So again, I see some same guys, um, uh, Nando and Nick, and we um, 